Well, okay. So, para sa third example kla natin, class, sa mechanics of deformable bodies, ito yung example natin. So, actually, sinold ko na to muna kasi medyo mahaba yung solution niya. Okay? So, one, so without further ado, basahin na natin yung question. So, determine the largest weight W that can be supported by two wires A, B, and A, C. The working stresses are 100 megapascals for AB and 150 megapascals for AC. The cross-sectional areas of AB and AC are 400 mm squared and 200 mm squared respectively. Actually, class, doon sa figure, is wala, hindi pa ito nakalagay yung TAB and TAC. So, bakit ko pinangala ng TAB and TAC, by the way, class? So, to, to say that... um. The, these wires are in tension. Actually, sana na, naalala nyo yung sa statics, no? Kapag wires, wala siyang kakayahan na uh, na uh, mag-compression. Okay? Kasi tension lang yung kaya niyang suportahan. Okay? So, kaya meron kang weight dito mag mag para maging zero tong weight Okay? Ay para ma-counteract itong weight, magre-react siya upward, okay? Kaya nga upward yung ah, reaction. TAB is the tension at AB wire. And then para sa AC wire, meron kang reaction na T sub AC, okay? Pasensya na, maraming motor kasi brown out kasi ngayon. Sa labas na lang ako. Okay, maraming nagkakarera sa labas. So, yung una natin gagawin is, yung una kong ginawa is, nilista ko yung given. Okay? So, for area at AB, alam naman natin, which is 400 mm squared. And then, yung area, cross-sectional area ng cable AC is 200 mm squared. So, nilista ko muna. And then, yung allowable stress nila. Okay? Kasi nakalagay dito yung allowable Ang work ay eh, no, yung working stress or other terms is allowable stress is 100 at 150 megapascal. So, lagi nyo tandaan na pag sinabi nating megapascals, equivalent yan sa newton per mm squared para hindi na kayo mahirapan sa kaka-convert, no? Convert, baka sa kaka-convert nyo, mamali na yung sagot nyo. Nagtataka kayo bakit 0.000 yung sagot nyo. E yung actual na sagot is mo 50 or 40 no actually na naano ko to sa dati kong estudyante dati okay so nilista ko yung given para madali para hindi mo malimutan okay so yung solution natin nag uh, naglagay tayo ng equilibrium equations parang ganun no okay so since sa drawing na to okay we sum up forces vertical. Meron tayong angle dyan, no, sa drawing. Merong 30 degrees at merong 45 degrees. So, ito yung equilibrium equations natin. Okay? So, kumahangin, kumuulan kasi dito. So, summation of forces vertical is equiva, equal to zero. So, TAB, okay? Para makuha mo yung vertical component niya. So, TAB, sine of 30. Okay? Kasi, yung vertical niya is parang ganito, pataas. So, third sine 30 degrees. So, ganyan. And then, plus TAC, sine 45 degrees. Okay? Minus W, kasi totally vertical yung W natin. Kaya, minus, uh, tapos downward. Kasi downward, positive natin yung pataas. So, minus siya. Minus yung sine niya. So, TAB minus, plus TAC sine 45 degrees, okay, is equal to W. So, that's your equation 1. Again, another equation natin is yung horizontal. So, summation of forces, horizontal, okay, pwede nyo rin gamitin X instead na H. Ito yung nakasanayan ko eh. Depende yan sa inyo. Itong vertical, pwede rin Y, okay? So, negative TAB cosine 30. Bakit negative TAB cosine 30 degrees kasi nasa left yung comp X component ni T cable TAB saka dahil sa nasa right yung component ni 
ng horizontal component ni TAC, positive yan, okay? Negative TAV cosine 30 degrees plus TAC cosine 45 degrees is equivalent to 0. Kasi walang, kasi yung component ng weight, okay? Vertical lang, walang horizontal. Kaya, meron kang equation 1 at saka equation 2, okay? So, here we go again. So, dito, stay put lang natin, class. Stay put lang natin tong mga formulas na to. Gagamitin natin yan mamaya. And then, magkuha tayo ng stress equation. So, alam naman natin na stress is equivalent to applied force over the cross-sectional area. So, ibig sabihin, isa-isahin natin si, si AB. Okay, yan o. Sahin natin si cable AB at si cable AC. So, we all know from the question itself, no na, na yung maximum allowable stress ni TAB eh yan nandiyan sa question is 150 i know 100 okay working stress is 100 megapascals for AB so and then 140 okay for, and 150 for AC kaya ginano natin yung formula. So, we all know 100 newton per mm squared yung kay TAB. Tapos, yung cross-sectional area niya nasa given is 400 mm squared. So, transpose para maging newton. So, 40,000 newton or 40 kilo newton. So, dito naman 200 mm squared. Okay? Ayan o. Oh, nasa given. So, 150 yung allowable stress niya so i-transpose mo makukuha mo 30,000 newton or 30 kilonewton so ito yung TAB max mo or TAC and TAC max mo uh, respectively so ito yung mga maximum forces or maximum tension na kaya nilang i-allow pag lumagpas na sa 40 itong si TAB okay mag ano siya magfi-fail siya dito Pag lumagpas ng 30 kN si TAC, magfi-fail din siya, okay? So here, sinubstitute ko yung equation 2. O, eto, meron kang equation 2, o, tinanspose ko. Si TA, hinanap ko si TAB in terms of TAC. So, ayan, yan yung equation 2 natin, o, substituting values of equation 2. Then, yung scenario number 1 natin is hindi natin alam sinong unang babagsak dito sa dalawa. Okay? So, nag-assume ako, scenario number 1, na si TAB ang, ang makakaabot sa kanyang maximum allowable value na hindi nag-fail yung isa. So, nag-assume ako. So, TAB is equal to TAC cos 45. Oh, Tinanspose ko dito si 40 kN dito. So, nakuha ko si TAC is 48.990 kN. Lumagpas siya kay TAC Uh, sa maximum allowable stress ni TAC which is 30 kN so hindi siya pwede so TAC exceeds limit therefore not possible scenario so doon tayo sa scenario number 2 uh, ating ina-assume naman na unang mag-fail si TAC instead of TAB okay so from the formula itself T sa equation 2 TAB equals TAC cos 45 yan sinulat ko muna and then Sinubstitute ko yung TAB ma TAC max. Ayan o. What if umabot si TAC sa maximum niya? So, without further ado, kinumpute natin. So, 24.595 kN, which is less than TAB max equals 40 kN. So, ibig sabihin, yung unang babagsak is si TAC bago si TAB. Okay? So, therefore, siya dapat ang mag-control. Okay? So, therefore, TAB does not exceed limit. Therefore, this is the possible scenario. Then, i-substitute natin kay equation 1. Ayan yung equation 1, oh. Okay? So, TAB sine 30 plus TAC sine 45. We all know that TAB is 24.495 and TAC is 30 kN. And then, substitute, we get W is equal to 33.461 kN. Okay? So, ganito lang yung pag-solve. 